Hey guys, you welcome back to my channel. This is the voice of Oni Omurai, content creator based in Just City, Nigeria. Here in this channel, I film on how to start your business, how to grow your business. I give you tips to brand your business, just everything that will make you be your own boss. I also share some DIY tips on headly living and a bit of lifestyle, okay? So guys, those of you that have watched my previous video on how to create your own e-commerce store, hope you really got something from that and hope you are already in the process of creating your own e-commerce store. It's it's very very important especially if you are an online vendor you will find this very very important and if you really enjoyed that video please and please leave for me a comment in the comment section and if you've not watched that video like you need to watch that one before you come and watch this just pause this go to the description box down below and watch the video on how to create your own e-commerce store okay so for those of you that have subscribed to this channel like i cannot thank you enough thank you so much if you are here to subscribe smash that subscribe button because you are definitely in the right place you will learn a lot from this channel smash that um like button like this video don't forget to share like why won't you i shared with most of you so share this video as well okay so without wasting much of our time today what we'll be doing today is creating our pay stack account remember i told you in the previous uh, video that i put i don't want the video to be too lengthy so i post um we are supposed to add pay stack as a payment channel i paused there and i said i'm going to continue in this new video so that's what we'll be doing today today we'll be creating our um, pay stack account so that, so that we'll be able to link it to our whatsapp e-commerce store okay so to create our pay stack account just click on your browser any browser at all you're using then go to your search bar go to your search bar and type paystack.com type paystack.com then you load it sorry let me on this yep off again paystack.com so here we are as you can see it's giving us an option to create a free account you can create a free account here click on it let's wait for it to load so from here now just to create your own account you need to fill this form the first one is country nigeria if you're not in nigeria just click on the drop down button at the right hand side of that box and um, choose your own country then business name the business name I used was Onis, Onis, Onis Variety Store, Variety Store. So you just type in your business name here. The next is my first name. Um, then Okay, the next, my email address. So here, I've filled in my email and then my password. The next is, are you a software developer? If you are a software developer, you click yes. If you are not, you click no. Let me just click no for now. Then you click on create account. Create account, allow it to load. So they said verify your email address. Please click on the email that was sent to your to this to verify. Okay. Save. So let me minimize this and go to my email. To verify what they've sent. okay it's here already verify your pay stack so i'll click on confirm email address good yeah it's rich, your email address was confirmed successfully okay so now let's click on login loading loading
only use variety store work on to paystack your business is in test mode so you can you can start using paystack right away to activate live payment submit your compliance form got it so to act, if it's on test mode like you cannot do anything with it you need to activate it fill this form to um, make it go live so that you can use it to receive payments from clients okay so i'll click on profile this is my profile here only variety store description just describe your business describe your store let's see We deal on and gents. Okay, we also export, export Nigerian food stuff abroad, food stuffs abroad. Sorry for the background noise. Then the next is your staff size you choose your staff click on the drop down button select your staff size is it one to five people let me just choose one to five people then industry what does your business what industry does it fall in does it fall into okay so yeah you can choose one so i'll choose commerce so your category Automobile, digital goods, physical goods. You choose anyone if it's digital or physical goods. You know what to choose here. So just read through it and choose one. Mine is a physical goods. Okay. So the next one, business type. Is your business registered or is it a startup business? If you have a registered business, you put. If you have a startup business, you put because you can. Okay, for the benefit of those that their business are not registered, you, let me click on registered business so that you see that you can still use your Paystack account. So. I'll click on save. Save. So let's wait for read. So the next one here, look at where I'm clicking on. Now. We have four things to fill here. So the next one is contact. Contact. You click on it so that you can fill the form. Contact, I already have my general email, my support email. I can click to use the general one. Good. Then this put, I'll just click to use the general one as well. Then phone number. If you're not in Nigeria, just click on the drop down button beside the country code and choose your own country code and complete your phone number. One, one. Okay, so my number is complete. So your website, glow. Okay, you type anything if you have your either your twitter facebook account you want to add you click and add it okay then the next one is your office address you state the states or the region let me type Then your city, 
just apartment or house. So after you must have filled everything, you just click on save. This has been saved. So we'll go back. Not yet. It's still saving. We need to see that good tick as well. See if I'm missing out something. So from here now, I have filled all the information on contact. As you can see, it's saved already. If I want to change anything, I'll just click on edit and change anything at all. So the next one now is to click on owner. At the top there, you click on owner. Then get ready to fill the form as well. Like it's very, very important. You need to fill this form. So my name, identification, my first name. Okay, my last name, my date of birth, I'll just put anything on, my date of birth, let's see, month, then day, day of birth, um, what should I put here, then the year, Um, this okay, then nationality. I can choose my nationality from here Nigeria. <clears throat> if you're not in Nigeria, you put your own there Nigeria. Then identification document like you need, um, either you need an id card for identification let's say your driver's license uh, voter's card your nin or then or a passport you just need something for identification so you click which of them are you using so guys the next thing is to fill your owner's form there you get to fill your name your date of birth and then your identification documents here i'm using my national identity identity number you fill all of those then the next thing they'll ask you is um verification of your address you can either use your if you have a, a recent bank statement that shows your address you can just snap it and upload it if you have utility bill you can use that as well so after everything you just the next thing after you must have filled all of this is to click on save so let's scroll up and see so one two three i've done three remaining one this particular one i feel three of the form remaining one so the straightforward thing just have the necessary document like your identification um either your national identity number and card your voters card your international passport driver's license you can use any of those to fill in your identification site then to verify your address you can use your utility bill just as you do whenever you go to your banks to open an account you can use your um nipa bill you can also use a bank statement showing your recent your recurrent address if you have um any paper you use for pay to pay tax or anything just something that shows your current address you are good to go so the next is account let me click on account and fill the necessary form as well so personal bank accounts that's what you feel here your account provider your account number and then your account statement your account name sorry so as you can see from here i've filled in all my necessary account details and it's been verified immediately just fill it correctly um the essence of you giving them your account detail is where do you want to um if you withdraw which bank do you want this money to go into so that's why they need your account details okay so after filling everything you just click on save so let's go off so i've filled the whole form needed here i'll just click on activate business this is it here i'll click on activate business
all done so you can see it here our paste stock account is ready so let me go back So after you must have filled them, filled up the whole form needed, the next thing to do is to go back to your dashboard. Just click on paystack.com and um, just log in. Log into your account. After logging into your account, please and please just take this to a desktop site. Just click on the three buttons or three dots rather at the top of your screen there, the one I cycled, and activate desktop site. As you can see it. This is what I have here. Activate desktop site. Then, if you activate desktop site, you'll see up here that our Paystack account is live now. Our Paystack account is live. I'm trying to highlight it for you up here. Our Paystack account is live, so it's now functional. You can use it to receive payment and make payments online. So guys, this is the end of this um of this video. This is the end. I don't want to once again I don't want it to be too too lengthy. So just here, I've taken you through the step on how to create your own paystack account. Remember, one of the reasons why we are creating this paystack account is to link it up with our WhatsApp e-commerce store. So now we've created this paystack account. The next thing to do is to link it to that store. I'll be doing it in my next video. So ensure to subscribe. Turn, in, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload these videos. Like within this week, I'll be uploading it either tomorrow or next. So just subscribe. Be part of this wonderful family. And please and please, there are people out there that need this. They need this information. They need to know how to do one or two things. You can share these videos. Even on your um, social media platform, you can share this video. Anything you don't understand, leave a comment for me in the comment section. I'm all available here. Okay? Thanks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.